How are we doing? Day nine is still raining. Or whatever it is, I just feel like Noah. <laughs> the animals went in two by two. It's funny that, isn't it? It's almost like there's only two sexes. The animals went in two by two. There was a song, wasn't there? The animals went in two by two. Hurrah, hurrah. The animals went in. Hang on, clownfish. <laughs> two by two. Hurrah, hurrah. Phone guy. <laughs> Where the hell have I got that from? You'll tell me in the comments. Let's talk about LGBT Alliance. La da da. El there is nothing more designed. Not designed, but more likely to cause ire amongst the trans, gender, queer, lunatics that we all abhor than the presence of LGB alliance. Uh, they're right. Things are changing, right? I reckon things are changing. I think people are waking up. You still get the usual miscreants and you'll see it in the tweet that I'm going to talk about now. You look underneath, you could some grumpy bloke <laughs> Keep having a go, right? But things are beginning to change. Right, so LGB Alliance started off as a fly in their ointment. I've got the funny feeling that the ointment is now LGB Alliance and they're the fly. <laughs> well, that's what I like to believe. Any anyway, rate, you can believe what you want to believe. Me, I'm going with that. Right, so Kate Barker, Chief Executive Officer of LGB Alliance, has written in response to the upcoming, West well, upcoming Westminster Hall debate to remove LGBT content from the relationships and education curriculum. These are e-petitions that are asking for this. Um, and Kate says, I wanted to let you know um, our position on this issue. Now, children need to be taught certain things, but they need to be taught them at the right time. And you've got to remember that we've had this out before, but let's do it again because it's always worth repeating that the queering of education, which involves things like drag queen story time, altering the curriculum, putting stuff in the curriculum in various areas that, that shore up gender ideology and critical social justice. So, you know, John, who is black and non-binary, has 15 apples. You remember we've done this before. So it's the same thing again. But they don't need that, right? The problem we've got is not that they're so much that they're teaching it, but they're practicing it. And they're teaching it at an inappropriate level. So we could teach to, for example, 13-year-olds. We could talk to them about cults, couldn't we? We could say there are cults in the world, 13 year olds. Let me show you one. And then we might show them um, a clip from perhaps Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Now, have you ever seen that film? It's tremendous. Absolutely tremendous film, Kate Capshaw um, and Indy, where they're fine, they find themselves at the behest of the Thuggy, T H U G E E, who were a cult from many years ago. And there's, gr there's one fantastic scene where every Every cult behaviour is encapsulated in about three minutes of film where Indy gets whipped, the boy gets whipped, the mad Mola Ram, that's his name, Mola Ram or something, I think. Is it Mola Ram? I think so. And they're all going, Mola Ram Shakti Day. Now you could show the kids this from, from you know, Indiana Jones and Temple Doom. Go, this is what a cult is. And you could point out cults get older kids. That's what they do. And then all you do then is you segue into, let me talk to you about a modern day cult called Look Up and you tell them all about the modern day cult of Elgin. I've got no issue with that if they're over 13. Under 13, it's, do some people have two mummies and two daddies? Yes, they do. Do some people have a daddy and a daddy? Yes, they do. Do some people have a mummy and a mummy? Yes, they do. Do some people have one mummy and no daddy? Yes, they do. Do some people have no mummy and daddy at all? Yes, they do. Use a biscuit. Go and play outside. What the queer lot need to do is they've got to get in well before that. Because in order to queer, they queer the childhood, which is what they're doing, remember... They're, it's the narrative you've got to worry about most. The queer in childhood, Granny's the bad guy, all the stuff that comes with it. The narrative is what you need to worry about most and we must focus on that narrative. And that's being built into curricula across the UK by, you know, activist teachers and activist heads and all the stuff that goes with it. So, this debate in Parliament is going to debate taking out look at education from, our, from PSHE. Now, um, people like Miriam Cates, there's the uh, Catholics for Conservatives. I forget what everybody's called. I'm so sorry. But th all those of you know that there are areas in which you and I pass the, the no, not company anymore. And that is that I think it's very important that people know the reality of the world. And that includes telling kids about the fact that there are three sexualities. Homosexuality, bisexuality, heterosexuality. So the kids need to know that, obviously. Here's the three. They like men. They like women. They like both. And they like people who are the same sex as them. All right, that's called same-sex attraction. Everybody got that? Yeah. But miss, miss, what about asexuals? Nobody cares who you screw in, Bobby. Sorry, 
I mean, you wouldn't say that to a kid, would you? Well, you might. I don't know. Nobody cares. But myth, what about pansexual? That's part of the cult. Cult? Let me show you this clip from Indiana Jones. <laughs> you get my drift? So Kate's written to say her piece, which is fab. So Kate, uh, Kate and Bev. I was, when I was at the LGB Alliance conference, who are you? Bev cuts a rug when she's actually having a bop. There she is bopping away to Earth, Wind and Fire, Boogie Wonderland and various other camp classics from the past. So here we go. In light of the upcoming Westminster Hall debate, remove LGB content from the relationship education curriculum, we believe that effective and age-appropriate relationship and sex education is vital to help all young people, especially those who will grow up to be lesbian, gay or bisexual, to develop healthy and fulfilling relationships and to ensure that they can benefit from good sexual health as adults. Absolutely right. We also believe that like everything taught in schools, IRC must be factual. Here's the word. Factual. Factual. Facts don't care about your feelings. Factual, right? So, it is a fact that there are three sexual orientations. Children should be taught that any of these orientations is valid and that homosexuality is as natural and healthy as heterosexuality. They should not be subject to theorising around their gender identity, which reinforces harmful and outdated stereotypes and is particularly damaging for gender non-conforming children, many of whom will grow up to be LGB. We know this. It is ironic and deeply concerning that the lesson formerly known as the facts of life has become instead an ideological soup of extreme contested beliefs. School leaders are outsourcing RSE to a burgeoning army of consultants with, ide with an ideological agenda. Those who would seek to queer the classroom, tell children that sex is assigned at birth, that people can change their sex or that they can be non-binary and so choose not to have sex at all, have a sex at all. Very young children are informed that everyone has a gender identity and may be presented with a menu of gender options from which to choose. This is damn right. That's exactly what this cult is doing. Our position is that no child should be asked to decide whether they are polyamorous. <laughs> That's got to be a drag queen somewhere. Tell me there's a polyamorous grifting somewhere. Polyamorous, non-binary, genderqueer or asexual in a classroom setting. Just as, no, just as no child should be asked to declare their sexual orientation. I mean, what a weird, you know, kids, kids, some people know young. I knew young. Right? But the reason that I knew young, and this is an interesting one, the reason that I knew young is because the external homophobia made it so obvious. So the less homophobia is, the more likely, I think, that people will discover later on that they like a bit of, you know, that they prefer the palm tree to the conch on the island that is sexuality, right? So... Furthermore, any teacher or consultant who chooses to use their own orientation, gender identity, sexual experience or preferences as part of a lesson plan is wholly unsuitable to be working with children. Bingo! Bingo! Miss! Miss! What is it, Billy? Are you, are you, are you bi? Billy, that's completely inappropriate. Can we, let's, can, can we get back to the lesson now? Let me show you this clip to Indiana Jones. Right, right okay, so... We are deeply concerned that the fiction of gender identity ideology is being presented as the truth to children and we would urge the government to take steps to regulate organisations that deliver RSE in schools. Yes! Regulate them! Regulate them out of the market! In summary, we ask that the ideological, speculative, political or fanciful be removed from the RSE curriculum and that teachers do what teachers do best. Stick with the facts. Well, I can't disagree with any of that. Kate! Hey! Giving it a great going over there. Get these nutters out of schools. Get We've already got rid of it, educate and celebrate, but I think they'll morph into something else. They'll become a business. Because as charities, they're going to they're come and stuck eventually, but they'll start setting themselves up as businesses and offer it to the schools. There should be an absolute ban on external providers of PSHE that is immediate until this is sorted out. And besides which, parents, do your thing. Tell the kids. Right, tell the kids, but make it age appropriate. Once they get to thirteen and over, it's pretty much over. You've got to give them the lock, then, haven't you? Right. I mean, you don't give them BDSM and you know, poking each other in the eye with sex objects. You don't do any of that or whatever you do with your ears, and licking feet and shoes, and knickers, and licking knicker fumbling gender queer people. You don't give them any of that. But by thirteen, you've got to pretty much tell them what it's about because they've got a pretty good idea going on upstairs in their head. Mother Nature's had something to do with that. And it's perfectly natural. Puberty is perfectly natural. There's no such thing as an unnatural puberty. 
We ban the drugs. We ban advertising it. We ban everything. It all com comes under one umbrella of psychological need. Forget the word gender. And we get it out of the schools by ensuring that our SHE providers are banned from providing until we can have a standard framework written that says this is what you will do and this is what you won't do. And the government should enforce that when it comes to PSHE. And I'm more than happy to help them do it. I've said this before. I get in there like Matthew Hopkins, right, or McCarthy, Transfinder General. Get me the hat and a pointy stick. Go on. I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.